this video is in response to uh, a guy I've been watching on YouTube who's watch, walking the Appalachian Trail. And I think he's doing record time. Early riser, ER. This hike's for you, I hike a lot. As often as I can, get a chance. I'm retired Air Force. And uh, like you, I was inspired by some other hikers. I know you mentioned Spielberg and Bigfoot and others. Well, I was inspired by Syntax 77 and a couple others. Joe Robinette. Love it. And as you can tell, I'm walking uphill right now. So, brother, this one's for you. Morning, everybody. I'm Boondock. It is the, what is it, the 11th of May. And uh, it's a Thursday morning. It's 48 degrees on a sunny morning in the southern, southern Adirondacks. And uh, Nico and I have a chance to either mow the lawn or go on a day hike. Guess which one we're doing. We are headed to Cat Mountain in, uh, again, the southern Adirondacks near Bolton Landing. That is exit 24 off the Northway Interstate 87, if you're interested. Um, there is uh, another mountain called Thomas Mountain. So Cat Mountain and Thomas Mountain and uh, I guess you can do uh, kind of a loop on those, and um, that's what we're going to try to do. Um, not sure how it's going to pan out because we've never been on this mountain before or on this trail before, so this is a first for, for us. All right, so we are underway on the trail to Cap Mountain and I uh, have no idea how far I'm going to go this time. There's uh, two mountains to, to hit. One is Cap Mountain and one is Thomas and uh, this is the first mountain hike I've been on this year really so we'll see how my legs do. Well one of the things that I notice right off is that uh, this trail although it's clear where the trail is. I don't see any blazes. There's no trail markers like there usually is. Looks like maybe that's a trail marker. And once again we got a pretty steep grade here that Nico's running right up. No trouble. <laughs> I can't even guess what the gradient is right here. Feels like it's about 40 or 50 degrees. Slow going. First mountain climb of the year. Oh, another opening here. Or an intersection, not sure which. Ah, a sign. There we go, Cat Mountain. That's good. Okay, so that sign back there was uh, pointing this trail that I'm on toward Cat Mountain. And the other right-hand turn was going toward Thomas Mountain, which was the 557, I believe, foot ascent in 0.8 miles. Well, water's definitely not an issue, at least this time of year. Plenty. I've seen probably close to 10 streams just to this point. So you see these cairns here and you see the, the trail that appears like it goes up there. And there's a couple of small cairns there, but if you look at this sign here on the tree, the trail runs parallel with that sign, it looks like. So that's what we're gonna do. Again, this trail is not well marked at all. 
uh, many of the markers that were put up, you can see that many of them have been torn down by, I don't know, people collecting mementos of their hike or whatever. Not sure what they're going to do with them. Hang them on the wall in their garage or whatever. Nico, come on, bud. Too far ahead. But there's lots of little offshoots off this trail that uh, appear to be lesser used. I don't know if they lead to camping spots or what, but uh, there's lots of them. So you gotta be careful where you're going here. Oh, here's a pond up here. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Look at this. Oh yeah, this is probably has something to do with the beaver, I would guess. And its family. Oh my. Very pretty. Like I said, lots of places to get water, no doubt about that. You definitely want to clean it though. I'm guessing that this is all beaver flow here. I wouldn't be surprised to see one swimming around out there. What a view. Whew, nice place for lunch, maybe on the way back, huh? If we end up doing a mountain back. Yeah, that's beaver for sure. No doubt about that, huh, buddy? Spot over here. So you come up on this little intersection. Looks like the trail just wise here, but uh, not sure what direction that one goes in. There's a couple of piles of rocks. And a sign up here with yellow blazes. Those are red blazes if you take a left. But if you take a right or go straight-ish, you go to Cat Mountain. So here we go. Looks like we're actually going up here. We've been going down for quite a ways. more like a foot trail compared to that where you could drive a truck up onward oh baby I'm huffing now this is all the hill you want right here roots water Rocks, slippery, and a dog with energy, it's tough to beat. <laughs> we'll see if he's got quite as much energy heading in the other direction. Still on track, pretty good here. A couple of signs up here. Oh, there was a map that's since worn away up there in that tree, looks like. Or some kind of sign. 
But here's a trail sign right there. So we're good. I think we're almost to the top. I hope we're almost to the top. Over here, bud. Come on. Come on. This way. That a boy, you know. Okay, so I'm looking straight in front of me. I'll give you guys some idea. I mean, that's, this is definitely the steepest part so far. You get a better idea how steep it is looking over there. Nico, come. Yep, come on. You get too far. I need to rest, buddy. You're killing me. So by the look of my GPS, um, I'm just about to the summit of Cat Mountain. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, the last part, and the first part, but the last part in particular, definitely foot trail. You're, you're off the, the road, but uh, man, it's, it's a good climb. I'll tell you what the uh, total ascent was shortly, but it feels like about five billion feet. <laughs> More when I get to the top. Hard enough just to breathe. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Now this is artwork. All right, so I'm thinking this is the summit. We've already got an amazing view over this way. <laughs> got to keep my eyeballs on this pup here. I don't want him falling over a ledge. Stay with me, Nico. I want us all to see this together. Nico, back here. Whoa. Over here, bud. Nico, come. Holy moly. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Oh. Right here. Come here. Come here. Well, so let me see if I can figure out where we are here. This Expanse of water in front of us here, this big one. It's got to be Lake George. I'm fairly certain of it. And that mountain range that juts out into it is the Tongue Mountain Range, and this is the southern part of it. And that high peak on the left that sticks out in the middle of Lake George there, but the highest peak on the left there is French Mountain Point. Um, I wouldn't bet my life on it, but I think we're pretty, pretty close. What a view, a 180 degree view. All right, well here I am on the top of Cat Mountain. And uh, of course you can see the view behind me. It's just stunning. And there's no way the camera will ever do it justice. Just beautiful.
Lake George, a big body of water behind me. Tongue Mountain, southern range of Tongue Mountain sticking out in it. Bugs are bad. Not much wind up here for a mountain top. So you can see the stats here. You'll have to double these for the entire trip because I'm not so going to keep over, track on the way out. An hour and 15 minutes, a little over 3.3 miles. And I'm trying to unwind the dog here. I got to keep him on a leash up here just in case. Um, where was I? A little over 900 feet in ascent. We're at 1,900 feet on this, on this mountain here. And uh, those are the stats. Well, we're on our way down now. We just had lunch uh, and some beautiful scenery. Um, first time I've been on Cap Mountain, so it was the view was incredible of Lake George, another great view of Lake George. One of the best is uh, French Mountain Point, which we saw from Cat Mountain, which is pretty cool. But I'm uh, not going to do a lot of filming on the way down unless I see something that I didn't see on the way up. I'm going to concentrate on staying on my feet. A lot of muddy spots and slippery rocks and so, and so forth but uh, if I see anything notable I will definitely take some video take some footage of it otherwise I'll see you when we get down so I just met a couple going the other way headed toward Cap Mountain probably in their mid 40s early 40s that are going to summit cat and they didn't have they weren't carrying anything I just heard a doe blow or a deer blow cool I don't know if you picked that up on the camera but anyway they had no water no food, no nothing, just what they were wearing. Probably get up to 70 today. They're going to wish they had water, I tell you that. Not really not much to see coming back. Saw four guys going up to Cat that I met at the parking lot when I, Nico and I got out. And I saw that couple that didn't have anything, any water or anything. And uh, that was that was really all I saw. I did hear a dog bark that wasn't mine. Probably coyote saw Nico, got excited. But uh, here we are. Got a sign out. Truck's right out there. Nico's headed toward it. He's ready to go take a nap. And uh, good hike. A nice way to stretch your legs on a Thursday afternoon. So I'll sign out of the trailhead for me and Nick. This is Boondock. And we're signing off. And just a reminder if not now, when? <laughs>